So today we woke up extra hungry uh, due to drinking too much yesterday. We'll blame it on the Super Bowl. I didn't even watch though. <laughs> I did the drinking. That part I got right. <laughs> But um, and the so eating. and the eating, so we're hungry because of um, Abby's like get out of the bad light. Thank you for caring about how I look in the camera, babe. Um, anyway, so right now we're gonna go eat because we're hungry and it's been a slow morning and I've just been doing emails and trying to load up on caffeine um, and drinking tons of water, which I'm not very good at, but today I'm especially going to do because I already feel like my calves. And I'm like, man, it's from drinking too much. Oh! And by drinking too much, I'm I'm lightweight, so it's it it, it gets me fast. <laughs> so we're gonna head and do that right now. Any other errands we gotta run? Whole bottle. <laughs> you shouldn't be talking, babe. <laughs> If you guys didn't hear him, he's like, whole bottle. Okay, so I had a whole bottle of champagne. But when you say it that way, it sounds bad. But then when you say you had four glasses, which equaled a whole bottle, it's not that bad. Right? My little piggy. It's so cute because she's starting to wear this hat like all day in the house. But she gets hot, which sucks. And she doesn't let you take it off. If you take it off, she goes, psycho. So anyways, we're going to go eat. I don't know what else we have to do. Let's just get food in us before we decide what the next move is at this point. <laughs> also, Lila's been having a bit of a runny nose. It started two days ago. Um, so we have a humidifier going all day. And I'm also, I always give her this, which kind of nips it really quickly. Um, this is homopathic medicine. It works with your body. It's drug free, so there's no drugs in here. Um, this one's for the cold. They also have one for like soreness, muscle aches, injuries type of thing, um, pain, which we give her both and this is literally the only medicine we have in our house <laughs> um, because we don't really get sick and if we do it's very like minor like a runny nose, nothing else. Yeah, her runny nose is mostly because it's really dry in here. Uh, we suffer with that in here. We always have like since we moved in it's always been extremely dry. Um, especially during winter, it's been brutal on us. So she's suffering a little bit. A little tip, which I'm sure you guys kind of knew about the humidifier. The tip is more towards this. Um, if you don't feel good giving your kid drugs, um, do this. It's the it's the natural alternative. She really loves it. Like it's a treat for her. Now I'm happy she understands. She only gets two. Before she would be like more. I was like, no, because not a candy. <laughs> but now she understands too, and she's like, okay, whatever. And she comes and bugs me like an hour later, like, it's time. <laughs> Chicago weather is being nice to us. It's really pretty today. Very nice. I didn't need this much clothes. <laughs> we are here. It's our favorite place. And Lila's already pointing to all the stores, like, oh, we're going to go here and here and there and there. It's like, what? <laughs> You want to see what the real reason is why she likes coming here? It's empty, Mama. It's empty. Oh no. <laughs> All right, so I want to make you guys aware of something. Um, there are two pages on Instagram, um, and they both blocked me, 
and they continue to use my photos. I've approached them already several times and told them that they're scammers and they shouldn't be using photos that are not theirs, claiming, you know, I did their program or I took their supplements. One is a program and one is supplements. Um, and I kind of wanted to show you guys this just so that you guys are aware. So there's this eat more, not less page I'm using this photo to say, um, oh, great gains, buy your bikini it says grab your one day bikini ready program right now um, so they're implying that I use their bikini program or whatever program they have now I someone told me about it but I couldn't see it I had to look up on my husband's Instagram because they blocked me because I yelled at them um, there's this other one too let me see if I can find it they blocked me a while ago they are they're the worst because um, they bluntly just keep using oh they blocked my husband too did my husband attack them i don't even know but they blocked my husband too they have 432,000 people um and they crop out my time frame on my befores and afters and they say that i achieved those results in 30 days using their supplements and then they call me like a different name i think they called me like andrea or something in one of them no shame whatsoever when they were approached they told me oh we're sorry um are you willing to sell us some of your befores and afters so we can uh promote our products i was like what the f you didn't just get what i'm trying to say by this like this is a scam you know and i told them hell no i don't need your money i don't want your money these are my photos don't use them period you guys are scamming people so they just block me and they continue to use it. I can't do anything about this. What I want to tell you guys though is don't support these people. Don't follow them. Don't don't feed into it, you know, cuz I get lots of messages every time they use my photo and I'm kind of like, "Why are you guys still on that page? You guys know it's a scam. You guys shouldn't be following them." Um more than anything because you following them supports them. And people will see, they see a number on Instagram and they automatically assume that because that number is high, it must mean it's true, legit, it's good. So then they go and they buy these supplements or whatever based off of how much support these people are getting. Granted, nowadays I think you could buy followers, you can, I don't know what else you can do. Um, hell, if people are trying to buy my videos on YouTube, I'm pretty sure you can do anything. So a lot of their followers are probably very fake, but... Uh, you're also contributing when you're following them so um, I guess moral of the story I can't stop it from happening I tried um, the only thing it, it does to me is it creates a lot of um, stress and anger and I get really mad at them so I try not to do that and I just hope that people don't fall for this stuff um, that you use your best judgment and always know that a page who posts a lot of girls different girls and nothing else just constantly that um, it's a scam, <laughs> you know, it doesn't, it, it, it's BS. So just don't fall into it, I guess. It sickens me and I try not to think about it. Um, and I know people don't like when I call people out, but in this case, it's one of those, I'm going to do it because it affects me um, as a personal trainer. It affects me as a public figure because people go and post on my photos like, oh, you know, they're skeptics because of everything that they've seen, the BS that they've seen. So they go to say that, you know, I'm on steroids and I, um, what is it? And I have implants or some injections or something. And as you all know, I'm 100% natural besides my boobs, which I really don't care. Like, yeah, I got a boob job. Everybody knows this. I always say it. Besides that, I'm 100% natural. Um, so it aggravates me that there are so many skeptics now and so many people that don't believe in fitness and as simple as it's nutrition that matters. Nutrition is key and then add a good workout regimen in and you're good. Um, that's as basic as it is and it sucks that everyone is messing with that and trying to make it seem like you need to be on supplements, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to do these fancy crazy workouts. It's really basic workouts, good nutrition doesn't get any better than that so use your best judgment I'm sorry this is happening can't do much about it except make you guys aware and expose these two uh, pages and whichever other page decides to come along and do that we've got a problem we can't find her blankie and then we think we think we lost it somewhere around Old Navy hubby's gonna go and look for it thanks babe cuz your little one she ain't happy right now
sad. She's yeah. really sad. She's really upset about this. And she keeps going like, hmm, like where is it? <laughs> so cute. I'm hiding the pieces under the sofa, the ones that get her mad. <laughs> this place is a mess. We seriously cannot get her to not make a mess. I, we know our problem, and it's mostly that we need to buy her another toy chest area. I don't even know what it's called. A toy organizing area. But we don't have space here, so we're just waiting until we move out before we do that move. But it's driving us nuts. You know how you always feel like the house is a mess even though you keep cleaning all day? That's how we feel. Anyways, I kind of wanted to end this vlog on a note of motivation and when you're feeling down. Um, I had like a previous client, a girl that I helped. Oh, it got stuck. Um, she wrote me saying that she felt very discouraged because she wasn't moving forward. Um, and that she had been getting really good progress and she just feels stuck. And a lot of times when you feel this way, it happens to everyone, you know, I'll get moments where I feel stuck and it usually happens when you've lost the motivation and lost insight of what your goal is and you don't know why you're doing it anymore. Um, so it's, you need to like kind of step back and see what is it, why am I upset, what do I want to achieve um, with my body, what is my goals. Um, in her case, she's very lean, so seeing her lean is like, well, you look lean, you look great, what is your goal besides lean? Which usually means she may want to be a little bit curvier or, you know, grow her butt, but then looking at her nutrition, it's not set for that. So it's one of those things where you need to refocus and think about what you truly want and are you doing, taking those steps to move forward. There are times where, you know, I can feel like my body's stuck, but more likely... I know why it's stuck or why I'm not progressing and it's it's all due to am I pushing it hard enough am I still doing um, what's aligned with my goals am I still eating the way I should be eating towards my goals and that usually takes care of it I mean everyone has their down moments you feel you're not progressing fast enough there is no easy fast way out whether you're bulking or leaning um, looking back at my journey it's, it's simple to be like it's simple to be like, oh, you know, it was a fast journey, but if you had to actually go through it again, it was not fast. It was it was a roller coaster of emotions. There were a lot of times where I felt like, what am I doing? You know, I'm not gaining anything. It's not going towards my wanted gains. Um, and I'm not lean anymore the way I used to be, so you feel very unmotivated. Um, and having somebody reassuring you that you're you're in the, on the right path helps. My husband, for instance, would be like, you know, when I had my down moments, he's like, you're crazy, you know, you, you're losing focus, you know that you're getting gains, it's just, this is all part of the process. Um, so a lot of times it is just your feelings, you want things to move faster, and if you can come to terms with understanding that um, it takes a while, then you're most likely going to feel better, but also make sure that what you're doing is aligned with your goals and make sure you're doing everything possible to reach those goals. Um, it's surprising how many girls don't know that a bulk means to eat at a surplus. I think a lot of girls are starting to think bulk means progress, you know, no matter what. And then I set them up to bulk and then they're like, Florina, my stomach is getting big. You know, like you under, you need to understand what a bulk is. You need to understand what your body has to go through in order to to reach those goals. And I do provide a lot of videos, so when people do want to uh, sign up for bulking, I make sure that they know what they're getting into. I make sure that they know, hey, you're not losing size, because a lot of people come with the, oh, I want to lose a lot of size around my waist, but I want to grow my butt really big. And it's one of those you got to tell them, you're not going to do both. <laughs> And if you are going to gain, you're going to get bigger in your waist. Um, so, I guess understand what your goals are. Understand the process of getting there. And it will make the journey easier. Eventually, you stop thinking so much about everyday progress. And you let it happen. And you'll wake up and be like, wow, I got all this great progress because I did all the right things. No shortcuts. Don't take those shortcuts because they're going to bite you in the butt. And it's not going to be pretty. Anyways, I hope that kind of helps if you are feeling a low moment in your fitness journey. No, everybody goes through it. Just think about it a little bit. Um, we're going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications. 
And until next time, bye. She's smiling at me. She knows this is the end. Like, yes, finally. <laughs>